So good afternoon guys. We're going to do a little bit of a short video here. This is a video on how to do a DNA test on your racing pigeons. This video is for my friend Jacob up in Vancouver who is asking what the process is as far as how you take the samples and prepare them and all that. And this is a little pair of squeakers off my number two pair. They are off of a daughter of my Sacramento pair and a half brother of the Sacramento pair cock. Probably my, my second best pair of pigeons, I think possibly. Certainly the number two cock. Um, their mother was a little hen I hand selected stocked from the ground. I talked about that in the last one of the last videos when I was talking about stocking pigeons from the ground. And their father is a proven stock cock bred by Vino Fernandez. And that's basically what the background of these birds are is uh, down from Lino Fernandez's birds. They are basically old Jansons down from Bold Ruler, a little bit of Shellens, a little bit of Rocket. And I'm really, really happy with these two little squeakers. They are just started being weaned, eating on their own at this point. And they're probably gonna go to Tom Brasher's California Derby if the timing is right. Uh, we have about 30 more, about 30, 35 more days until input starts on that. And that is where they're gonna go. But uh, before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and genetically test them for the CRY1 gene. That is a gene that is highly prevalent in this family of pigeons. If you're not familiar with CRY1, it is a believed to be a magnetoreceptor that enhances homing. So I'm gonna go ahead, before these guys go to California Derby, they're gonna go ahead and be tested, is the plan. And I'm gonna show you how to Take the uh, <clears throat> take and take and send the samples, and basically what you will get back. So I have used in the past Phoenix uh, Bio Labs, and I also use Gene Check out of Colorado. Gene Check is a little more, but their results are faster. They tend to turn around test results usually within about a week of receipt. Phoenix is quite a bit slower. Um, so even though Phoenix is is only ten dollars a sample. It does take a while to get the samples back. You know, if you're not in a hurry, it's a good deal. Um, but if you are impatient like I am and you know you wanted to know things yesterday, I really recommend using Gene Check. I've talked to their staff there quite a bit. They are great folks, do great follow-up. If they don't have a big enough sample, you can uh, submit more sample stuff and they'll do a, another test for you. They'll make sure you get results. So uh that is where the samples from these guys are going. And like I said, I really like these two little guys. I'm pretty happy with them. They handle really nice. Um, I think the blue bar is a cock. I think the blue check is a hen, is my guess. So I will show you how to take the samples. So this is the form you're going to fill out. Gene check don't offer online processing they want you to send the submission form in with your samples so you basically just print it off out on the internet they are out of Greeley Colorado is where gene check is from your name your loft name your details they send all their results by email and if they have an issue they will call you tests are for 1 to 49 birds is $18, we're gonna do two. That is $36, and I'm just gonna send them a money order. You can send them a check or whatever, they'll take your credit card. And then you fill out the birds. So here's the band number, 5314, 5315. And sex obviously is unknown at this point, and you can actually get, uh, here's the tests you can get. You can get LDHA, DRD4, Cry One and Pigeon Sexing. They're all the same price. They're $18 per test. We are doing Cry One is what we're doing. So this is basically just how you fill the form out. So this is how we collect our samples. This is 5315. So what we do is we send two feathers, a minimum of two feathers for one test. 
So we're going to take these small secondaries here, and struggles, and we're going to take two of them, and we're going to pluck them. And that's our sample. That's it. Are these two feathers, but you need at least two feathers per test. So if you're going to get different samples done, you need to send multiple feathers. So I got interrupted by a neighbor who wanted to know if I wanted some old potting soil from some pots. So I had to talk to her. But here is our sample again. Two of the small secondaries. You pluck them right above the back. You know, you could pull a primary flight or a tail feather or any other body feathers. But, I mean, these are adequate. They're going to grow them back fast. <clears throat> two feathers per test. So if you are only having one test done, whether it's CRY-1 or it's LDHA or it's DRD-4 or a pigeon sex test, this is adequate. However, if you're going to have more than one test done in a sample, you want to include more feathers. Figure a minimum of two per test. So if you're going to get all four tests done, you're going to want to send eight because there's just not a lot of genetic material in these feathers because basically they're just going to test the tip. That's where they're going to extract the DNA is right from the tip of the quill. So there's not much DNA there. So <clears throat> how we're going to do it, <clears throat> we have a plastic bag. We're going to write the band number on the bag and we're just going to put the feathers in the bag and that's going to be mailed to them. And you do this for each bird. Make sure they're individually marked and here's your sample and you're going to send those away and they're going to get back to you with some results i'm going to finish collecting here so i'm going to show you how to do it again in case you missed little blue check hen this is 5314 i really like this little hen she is a doll she is very nice very nice little hen so we're just going to go back here. She's got a little bit of a tremble. And they all have that. So we're going to go right back here again. Bring her closer. Two secondaries. These right here. We're just going to pull them. And that's it. And obviously you want to be careful about cross-contamination. You don't need to wash your hands or anything. But I mean, I would try to avoid, you know handling the quills, you know, handle them up on the uh, the web of the feather instead of the quills, you know, because you're going to rub some of that DNA off. But uh, that is how we do it. <clears throat> the two small secondary coverts over the back. So this is going to be the last step. So we have our samples. We're going to send two pigeons in. We're going to take the form. We're going to obviously give them a check or a money order. And we're just going to put them, I prefer to use flat rate priority mail. It costs a little over $11 or about $10.90 or something like that, or $9.90, I think it's $9.90. But uh, I send priority mail to them. It's flat rate. It's technically insured. It's tracked. And it's fast. You know, and you make sure it gets there. You pay a little more. So, you know, for... For two samples like this, we're just under $50 to get two birds tested for one test each. And that's it. And I will, uh, and uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what a test, what the test results look like. Like I said, we are testing for CRY1. So with CRY1, you have three, very, you know, you basically have three possible results. You have AG, AG. That is, that is not cry one. That bird does not have cry one. If you're AG, AG, you have AG, TT. That means the AG has converted to the cry one gene, which is the TT. And that means the bird is heterozygous for cry one. It means it has one normal gene, has one cry one gene. And about... 20% of all racing pigeons have that gene. It's also very, very prevalent in many well-known families. Kittle birds, ironclad birds. There's some of the black widow birds, rosier, 
and other families. It's very prominent in those families and, and others. Um, and then the other variant you can have is the TTTT. TTTT, there are only about 6% of all racing pigeons have that. That is the homozygous version of cry one. If you made a bird that is homozygous for cry one, all of the offspring, no matter what you mate that bird to, they're gonna inherit cry one. And like I said, the cry one gene, it is a magnetoreceptor and it is believed to enhance the homing ability and basically navigation. Obviously, it's not the complete story when we're talking about racing pigeons. They're complex genetic creatures, but it is one gene that we do know about. And that's why we test on it is to try to fix the cry one and hopefully improve homing, improve the navigation, increase our chances. So right here at the end, I'm gonna show you what an actual result looks like what you get back from gene check you're also going to get similar stuff back from the other labs like phoenix and the rest of them animal sciences so on and so forth but uh can be very advantageous if you genetically test your birds for the known performance enhancement genes and another smart thing you can do is you can also sex them you know if you need uh cock bird off your best pair to put away and you have four or five babies and they're not old enough to know what the sexes are you can uh you can genetically test them for the sex and you know which one to keep and the same thing i think if personally i think if you're selling pigeons and you want to be able to guarantee sex which i think is a big problem with selling pigeons for a lot of people it seems like every time i buy a pigeon for my pigeon they say oh it's a hen well no it grew up into a cock bird and then you're off after another cockbird because you know you needed a cockbird and you bought the one and it turned out to be a hen. So I think for those of us who, uh, you know, maybe have an interest in selling pigeons and passing them on to other people, I think it's a smart thing to genetically test your babies. You know, it's a $16 investment using Gene Check or only $10 using Phoenix. And I think if you're going to sell pigeons and want to be able to guarantee what the sex of those birds are, Having them genetically tested is the way to go. You're, you know, if you look at racing pigeons as a commodity, you're really enhancing the value of your product to be able to tell whoever is buying a bird from you, hey, this bird is a hen. You know, it doesn't leave it to chance. It doesn't leave it, leave it to guesswork. Because let's face facts, we can eyeball them and go, wait, well, I think that one's a cock because it's big. But it's not always that way. So that's, uh, even if you're not interested in the performance enhancing genes, I think using the DNA sexing is definitely the way to go. So like I said, here are some real world results, what you will get back from Gene Check that will show you, this is basically what you're paying for, is the result. Thanks for watching guys, tune in next time.